Hey everyone, first summer garden video of 2011. Got my tomatillos here. Planted two of them in a container. This is a self watering container from gardeners.com. Um, when I planted them, they were, uh, I started them from seed indoors, and actually the root balls of both plants, say I planted them in each corner, they, uh, I laid them down so the root balls are towards the middle over here and then I uh, directed them towards the corner and kind of bent them up so then they'll grow roots all the way down there and they've been going really well so far um, got my tree collar up here from John Kohler you'd have seen that when he gave it to me on YouTube he gave it to me last year it was a little tiny thing so oh, I wanted to show you this is a little map that I created using the uh, Google drawing tool so it can it goes this way so you can kinda it helps me to see where all my plants are so got all my tomatoes over here got Hawaiian Tropic green zebra Virginia sweets and Porter tomato over there at the end all the peppers down here in the front Marigolds. And got gotta push the tomatoes back a little bit, but got all the watermelons and pumpkins going down there on the trellis. Over here is brandy wine, another Hawaiian tropic, green grape, and gardener's delight over here. More peppers all across the front. Got some butternut squash and spaghetti squash over here. Just starting to go up the trellis now, trying to, hoping I can get them up here before the tomatoes completely block them out. Got some corn growing over here. It's my mostly, I have all my herbs in here, so we got rosemary, sage, uh, Greek and Italian oregano, which I just cut back a whole bunch. Uh, I cut it almost all the way down to the bottom, and it's coming back now. I dehydrated all of it, put it in a bunch of mason jars, so I'll have herbs for quite a while now. Got some thyme, chives. These flowers are edible. They taste really good. You can use them as a garnish or just sprinkle them all on your food, whatever you want to do. Over here is a new big dwarf tomato. Actually, this is one of my favorite ones because it's... I, I didn't need to stake it at all. It's so sturdy. It's it's crazy. The stem is super thick. And that's another porter right here. And a Hawaiian tropic. I planted quite a few of the Hawaiian tropics because it's I know it's a super heat tolerant one and it's kind of like uh, you know insurance <laughs> in case some of the heirlooms die that can't handle the heat as well as the Hawaiian tropic. Over here I got all my onions. I planted red and white onions. And then towards the back, uh, three different types of garlic and some shallots over there. I'm just waiting for the uh, tops to die down and then that's supposed to be when I can harvest them. This is the first time I ever tried growing garlic and onions, so we'll see what happens there. And then these are all the buckets uh, where I planted tomatoes um, and then there's a pepper at the end there I got them when Lowe's had the sale for 50 cents usually I grow everything from seed in my garden but every once in a while I get some starts Lowe's had a sale for 50 cents each so I figured I'd pick up a few and try those varieties and this container it's a self-watering container or both of these are that I made out of just normal Rubbermaid containers and I used an ABS pipe so that I can fill it up with water there um, these are all four of these peppers are poblanos. And over there is the zucchini. And then got my basil. This is purple Petra basil. Um, 
it was interesting because this this right here is a purple Petra, and so is this. They both came from the same seed packet, but as you can see, this one's all purple, and this one's just mostly green with the purple spots. So I thought they both looked neat, so I just planted them both here. And then I got the Thai basil over here, boxwood basil, which I bought from uh, Plant World. And this is just a normal green Genovese basil here. And that's pretty much it.